Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'll be talking about uh, compound fields, right? Uh, you might have heard about compound field before. If not, that's all good. I'm going to tell you what exactly is all about anyways. So compound field, right? You think about compound field, it's like um, multiple elements of primitive data type, right? So for instance, you have numbers, you have strings, uh, they're grouped together. Uh, to form a single data type. So you got a string data type, you got a number data type, you know, say, and it all combined together to form one single data type. So that's kind of a, uh, in a nutshell, what compound fields is all about, right? Um, so the compound field you might have heard about, like an address compound fields or a geolocation. These are the most commonly uh, used compound field. Uh, so Compound fields are normally accessible as a single uh, structure field or an individual component field, right? Um, so, for instance, like, let me go give you an example. So, you got an account, right? Uh, so, an account, you have something called, um, say, billing. It's a billing address, right? So, this is a compound field. Um, so, if you go to, uh, so, let me give you, let me go to an account. Uh, so the same goes with the, the location, right? Geolocation. So I'm just going to show you account, how it looks like. So let me uh, pick any account, right? It's just a dummy account. It doesn't matter. Uh, so you go to details, right? Um, so if we go to details, um, so you got an address here, right? Billing address, if you see the billing address, right? So under billing address, you see different fields that are popped out for you to enter, right? The billing street, billing city, billing uh, billing country, you know, whatnot, right? But when you, when you cancel it, right, it just shows you as a one field. So that's a compound field. So you can actually query this using a billing address, select billing address from an account, to get you uh, the billing address as a compound field. But if you wanted to access the individual field, you can do that, select, uh, you know, the billing street or uh, whatever the other stuff it is, city or, uh, you know, the state or zip code, right? So you can access that. Um, so the compound um, fields, right, uh, they are described in both enterprise and partner visual so if you're talking about soap right it's uh, both describing uh, the partner and enterprise visual um, so yeah and uh, one other thing I just wanted to uh, consider I I mean this is not a hands-on session right just a theory session just to give you an idea it's a pretty simple topic but that being said right you need to understand the fuel limitation, right? Because, you know, you might encounter this limitation and you might wonder, oh, what the heck is going on, right? So the first thing, right, compound fields are read-only fields, okay? So if you're, so the read-only fields, that means that you can't update the values, right? If you wanted to update the values, so say, for instance, right, we got a billing address here, right? So you can't say, you know, uh, in, in your Apex core, right? For instance, if you wanted to update uh, the billing address, you can't say, you know, select, you know, billing address from account where ID something, right? And say a dot billing address. It doesn't work that way, right? Because it's a read-only field. So if you wanted to update the billing address, you have to update the individual fields, right? That's the billing street, billing city, uh, billing state or province, billing zip code, and billing country, right? So that's how it works, okay? Now, the compound fields can be accessible uh, I mean, in fact, it's only accessible through SOAP API or REST API and Apex, right? You can't access the compound field beyond these three options, right? You can't uh, access it using, um, you know, Salesforce user interface. The compound versions of fields in uh, what I meant to say. Um, so... Um, Another thing you just wanted to uh, remember that you can't use the compound fields in Visual Force, right? Uh, though I do believe that Visual Force is a legacy technology. Uh, you may not be developing new stuff in Visual Force, right? If you do for whatever reason, just remember this, that compound fields, uh, you can't use that in a Visual Force, right? Uh, so if you wanted to, uh, it goes back to the same 
uh, in a discussion I had uh, with you guys two minutes earlier about updating individual fields, right? So if you wanted to update uh, billing address, you need to update individual fields, okay? Now, the one more thing you do need to understand if you use data loader, right? Uh, you can't select the compound field. It will give an error message, okay? Uh, and another interesting thing you might be interested to know that, you know, custom geolocation and location fields on standard addresses, right, are in supported with email templates. You know, you know, if you're dealing with templates, email templates, so you might be wondering, oh, why this is not working, so this is the reason why it's not working. Uh, you can't use the compound fields in lookup filters, okay? You can't use that, right? Uh, except to filter distances that are within or not within the given range. So, um, so, and another limitation is that the formula functions, right? So you must be using, okay, formula functions. It's pretty open, right? It's a, it's a normal field. Uh, so the only uh, three uh, functions which you can use is east blank, east changed, or east null. These are the three uh, formula fields you can use it, okay? Um, so, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, so, and if you are talking about, you know, the, the geolocation compound field, I mean, like I said, there's not much to talk about this. I mean, you can read about it if you're interested. You won't get asked much in your PD2 certification, maybe one or two questions, right? Uh, so, you know, one of the things I just wanted to mention, if you're talking about, you know, geolocation compound field, then you have to understand that geolocation fields are not supported uh, in custom settings. Geolocation fields are not available in dashboard or schema builders. You can use that, right? Um, so, yeah, uh, just remember that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much I wanted to talk about uh, in terms of the compound field, right? You know, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's lecture. Have a great day. Adios.